Many high income earners we meet have a strong dislike for the word taxes. And it's not because they don't want to pay their fair share, but it's because our government's definition of their fair share is much different than theirs. Now currently, the top federal tax rate on ordinary income is about 40%, but that doesn't even tell the whole story. Let's look at a few additional taxes on high income earners. So first, there's an additional 3.8% tax on net investment income for couples with modified adjusted gross income above $250,000 or for single taxpayers above $200,000. This came about, of course, through the Affordable Care Act. A second is that those in the top tax bracket also see an increase in their long-term capital gains and qualified dividends tax from 15% to 20%. So this 20% plus the 3.8% creates a whopping 23.8% tax. And that doesn't even include state or local taxes. Thirdly, there's also, there are these phase-outs, which are often referred to as reductions of itemized deductions and personal exemptions. And those start for couples with AGI of about $310,000. So to illustrate these phase-outs, imagine Uncle Sam holding a coin while creating tax law. Heads, the, the caption may read this. Heads I win, tails you lose, just like we heard when we were kids. Now heads would represent a direct increase in the tax rate, while tails may represent these phase outs of deductions. But bottom line is both result in higher taxes for certain high income earners. Now these are just a few examples, but you work hard to create a good income so be wise in your planning to ensure you don't pay Uncle Sam more than the law requires. Remember, he's not really your uncle. Thanks for watching.